I've been using my Sony ZV-1 for a couple of weeks now, and I actually I love it. But it's not without its flaws, and today we're going to address that and come up with a way to make this Sony ZV-1 the ultimate blogging machine. Hi, I'm Arnie, and here we talk travel, we talk cameras, and we talk accessories. If you're interested in any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button, click the bell icon so you won't miss anything, and also check the show notes for more details. So yes, the Sony ZV-1 is a wonderful camera, but it isn't perfect. And let's be honest, what camera is. I addressed one of the shortcomings in a uh, previous video, and I'll leave a link to it in the description as well as in the cards in one of the corners uh, so you can see a little more detail of what I'm going to talk about here in just a second. So our goal today is to make this little gem into that ultimate vlogging camera that we all want. The first flaw is the position of the quarter 20 thread on the bottom. Like I said, I've made a video of that already, but so what happens is that if you put your uh, tripod, or in this case the vlogging handle, on the bottom, it blocks the door for the battery and the SD card, which is a real drag. I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world because it, the vlogging grip has this nice little quick release or quick dial uh, screw in thing. So it's not the end of the world, but it, you know, it's a little bit of a drag. So first thing, the first bit of kit that you're going to want to invest in, and trust me, nothing that I'm talking about here today is going to break the bank. Smart, not smart, small rig has come out with a line of cages and in my case an L bracket that helps us deal with that fact that you can't open up the battery door if you put a tripod on. You'll notice that it has all kinds of places on the bottom to mount um, to screw in different things. You know, so that problem is solved. There's also a um, cold shoe mount on the bottom and nice little grip on it, nice wood grip. So, you know, this, this little small rig mount is so perfect and it hardly changes the dimensions of the camera at all. As I mentioned, there is also a full cage that goes around it, if you'd prefer that. I've used those on other cameras, and they're great. I just didn't want to change the form factor much on this. I wanted it to remain small. So that's step one. Step two is to make sure that you're protecting your LCD screen on the back. You're going to want to have a, a, you know, it's not adhesive. I don't know what keeps it on there, but you're going to want to put something on there that, that keeps you from scratching it because you're going to be using this a lot and you're going to be throwing it into, you know, a bag or what have you. I have this out um, when I go on my bike rides as one of my two cameras and it, you know, I've, I'm not always the most careful with it. So that is an absolute necessity. Okay, next up. This one is going to throw you a little bit because one of the reasons that we love this camera is because it comes with a built-in ND filter. But let's be honest, that ND filter, eh, you know, if it's very, very bright, isn't going to work because it only has about three stops. And so if you're out in the brightest sunshine, it is not going to do the job. So you're going to want to put an ND filter on. I recommend the K&F filter. It goes from an ND of 2 to 400. 
gives you a lot of variables there. So it's very, very useful. I've used this on my um, A6400. It works so, so well. 52 millimeters. So you're going to want to put that on. And to do that, you need to have this adapter from JJC. And it is for the RX100. All right, it doesn't, they haven't changed their uh, documentation. It doesn't talk about the ZV1 yet. So you're looking for the one for the RX100. And it just sticks right onto the front. It's got a very uh, strong adhesive ring on there. Just carefully mount it so you center it as best as you can. And it has a 52 millimeter thread in there, allowing you to take your variable ND filter and simply screw it on there. As I said, I have one for my, well, I shouldn't say one. I, yeah, I have one for my uh, A6400 and I use that regularly, or at least I did because I'm using this out in the field now a lot. It is so easy because with the flip out screen, you can see yourself and you can see when you're blown out and all you have to do is dial in the filter. Boom. No fiddling around with things. It is so, so cool having that. And again, remember, we're talking about doing things inexpensively and without changing the form factor of the camera. I don't want to be adding a lot of bulk. I don't want to be adding a lot of weight. Perfect. Last but not least are mic options. We know that the mic on the top of the ZV-1 is quite good and when you mount the little wind muff they give you, you know, here's the hot shoe here and you slide that in and it covers that up. It really works well. Again, I use this when I'm out on my bike a lot, but maybe you want something a little bit more directional. That's where this little doodad comes in. Nice little mic from Ceramonic. It just plugs right into the mic port here, the mic jack, just like that. Again, keeping in, in mind form factor, it doesn't change things much, and it allows you to pivot it. So if you're wanting to speak into this while you're, while you're filming B-roll or something and you want to add some commentary, it is easy to do that and then to flip back. It provides just that little bit better um, audio. This is quite good, but this is a little step up. The other option, and I don't have it handy or I would put it on here, is one of the smaller wireless type of kits um, that you could put on and have that. I use that if I mount the camera and I want to walk away from it a little bit and still have great audio. This is a super, super setup. You'll be pleased. Only a couple of bucks, truly, to make this slight modification. Works well. The grip here this part right here from from small rig you'll love this it's 25 dollars or something like that adds just that extra little bit uh, again i've made a, a video of it and i'll leave a link to that so if you like this kind of information make sure that you subscribe leave us a comment give us a thumbs up really do appreciate it it helps out the channel thanks so much We'll see you in the next one.